Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. So you and I are going to be going through £500 worth of £2 coins, try and find the rare and valuable ones, the ones that you can find in your change, and hopefully ones that are worth more than the £2 that's printed on them, and really hopefully something else to help with my math. So those that are just uh, maybe watching for the first time, this is my £2 coin mat. There's a picture of every single commemorative £2 coin that you can find in your change. And I want to find every every single one. I want to fill up the mat. Doing really well in really short order. And now only need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one being the the, um, the most rare and valuable, the Northern Ireland Commonwealth Games. Uh, they're in gold, silver and bronze finds. So as you can see, it's the, the harder ones are still to, still to get, but still doing really well. That bloody ship is really... How do you find any up here in the north? Really elusive. Seem to find plenty down south, but not not up here. Um, right, so I've got five hundred pounds. It's it's here. They're in rolly over bags. I need to tip them out next to me because you'll see me go through them, and then I'm going to put them on top of the ones I've already got. I'll keep the best ones for. Um, I'll compare them all and keep the best ones of each one I find. I'll do that at the end of the uh, at the end of the day. There is a that is a uh, army centenary. So yes, I'll check all the ones I find for errors and oddities. Kind of do that off camera. The main focus is what are we going to find in this five hundred quid? And I'll, oops, <laughs> oh dear. And are we going to find a gap filler? And I, and I feel really optimistic. I really feel like we will. We will find something. at such incredible luck. In, in just a few short weeks. Although saying that, I did do a £2,500 coin hunt. Uh, pretty much all in one go. So I guess, <laughs> is it really short order? That would normally, what, five coin hunts worth if you do a bog standard £500. So maybe not. And I'm told by Rich H. Hunts that uh, even that mega hunt I did wasn't as good as his. I haven't been able to find that mega hunt, actually, Richard. I did look. And I did say, uh, I mean, you do get some incredible finds regularly anyway. I didn't, uh, I will have another look back. I know you were giving me a little bit of ribbing in the comments that your cashing was better than mine. So I'm sure it was. And I look forward to uh, finding that video and having a look when I get a minute. Do check out Rich H. Hunt. He's a Welsh guy. He likes coins and he he doesn't like editing, that's for sure. He doesn't like thumbnails or doing his own thumbnails. But boy, does he like coins. He is prolific at going through, through coins. Lots and lots of content there if you want to go and check him out and see if you like the cut of his jib. See if he is the, the coin tuber for you. Hmm. Bits, uh, Peter Par Ooh, oh, here we go. So there's a bit Peter Barron, really, on uh, on fines full stop. Is this going to be a Charles Dickens, or is it going to be an Olympic? Or, uh, oh! <laughs> I didn't quite believe it. I didn't quite believe it for myself. Just thinking, oh, it'll be another, it'll be a Charles Dickens 2012. Look, us the... Look at the look at the same. The queen side is exactly the same. However, in terms of value, that's two quid. That's probably a good fiver. It's in decent nick as well, but worth more than the money that uh, that it's worth. It is a find I do not have. Just eight hundred and forty-five thousand mintage, under a million. It's a top of the shops gold find. <sighs> it's a beauty. I tell honestly, I just feel as though everything I touch will will turn to gold. Will, will uh, the years ticking on? This this will. When will this upload in a couple of weeks time so is it the is it the i don't know 20th ish or maybe it's the late 20s of november so there's not many weeks left to go to the end of the year have i got a chance of starting and finishing a book in the same year within i don't know there's the man and the animal um within just really just a couple just a couple of months Ooh, i don't know that's United into One Kingdom, celebrating the union between England and Scotland. Was it three? Was it three hundred years? I think it was. Seventeen oh seven, so ninety years. 
300 years active union uh, Robert Burns that's in nice condition I suspect that might be one I'll swap out for my current one mm, queen side not so clever but it might just be in slightly better nick and we'll inspect that a little bit later on and swap out if required that is one advantage of putting them rather than putting them in a book putting them on the mat I can see at a glance whether I've got a better condition one just quickly compare it and switch out if need be rather than try and look through the plastic of the book you know or, or having to take it in and out <sighs> excuse me I don't know what this is honestly some kind of hair fever anyway managed to managed to stifle it so you didn't get a full do that. Right, is lightning going to strike twice? You've got another 20, 2012 on the obverse. No, it's not. It's a Charles Dickens. That's more like it, isn't it? That's more like the, the standard find you're going to get. That's for sure. And he's in mucky condition. He will not He will not be swapped out because I've got a lovely condition, Charles Dickens, which will take which will take some beating. That's, uh, that's for sure. Getting two Olympics in the same hunt. Unheard of these days. Unless you maybe be a change. And imagine he'd be tripping over uh, Olympic finds. There's another army centenary, so so common around here. There's a, another Charles Dickens. And they definitely must have been released to the North East, those. The, Army Centenary, I just find so many. It's high mintage, I accept that. Of course it is. Getting on for 10 million. Oh! <laughs> oh, I was just saying as well. Honestly, I, I feel like Mystic Bungle. I really do. I think it just... I suppose I talk a lot and I talk about a lot of coins. But just every now and again, or, or regularly enough, I'll say a bit of coin and then it just blooming appears. I was just saying how hard it is to find that ship, that pesky ship. And there it is. Two goal finds. Just one, two, three, four. Five to go. One, two, three, four. Just five to go. You move. Five? Is that right? One, two, three, three. It is four, five. A roundel. The Olympic handover. Um, yeah, no, the, the um, Olymp Olympic centenary. Which I definitely find more of them than any other of the Olympics, generally speaking. And then three Commonwealth Games. This is exciting times indeed. I have got. I, I accept the Commonwealths are hard to find, rock hard to find. But I've just got a just got a chance, haven't I? Just got a chance of completing by the end of the year. Little shout out to Taffy Coins as well. I've left that there just covering up because this mat, I've had this mat a little while and it had our PO box address on it. We don't have a PO box anymore, so I do always need something to cover it up. There's a, another army centenary. So, yes, I got a, a strike your own off Taffy. I think it's good value £20 included postage. It was signed for postage as well. I got the Atlantic Salmon. It was at a short run as the strike your own, the definitive 50p. That will be everywhere at some point. But it does have a little privy mark. And it's obviously got that special strike your own packaging. Only had a short run because it changed to the snowman after just a couple of weeks. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to get one as an investment. We'll see whether the value goes up. Because sometimes they will indeed go up. There's a skull. Tell you what I haven't found. And I'll see a Mystic Bungle again. Haven't found a skull with an edge inscription error for donkeys now. I, th I think I found three all together. A few other people have found some as well. It looked as though they're going to be, maybe it's relatively common, but uh, they've really dried up. And I just think if you've got a... Oh, sugar. If you've got a skulls with a edge inscription error, that will, that will go up in value as time goes on to my back end. Because, because there's so few. They just don't turn up regularly enough for them to be to be considered common. And yeah, I haven't found one for ages. But maybe Mystic Bungle will strike again. Right, that was a, a bit of a... I always look a bit of a buffoon, don't I, when I drop the coins. 
think of all the probably hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of coins I've looked through now and I've still dropped them. Oh, I'll knock a, I'll knock a pile over. I tell you what, I'm flying through this, this hunt. The, in the, in the, the last episode, I was really rushing because I needed to get the coins back to the bank. I had less coins and it wasn't much, uh, oh, it's dirty. I don't think it's going to be much, much longer really or by the time we've gone through 500 quid. There's another army centenary. Three bags left to go. Three bags left to go. Went to go a coin hunting. Three bags, one bag. And a bear. Went to coin hunting. I'm not sure where that came from. And I will I will check all the others. Um, all coins for rotations and errors and edge inscription. Do, do for dangler and swap outs and whatever. I might not. I don't think, I, I don't think I'll shorten the video. I don't want to go on too long. I think generally most people like a shorter hunt. I know you've got some diehards there. They'll probably watch every second. And you know who you are. And if you want to admit it, put it in the comments. But most people, I think, prefer a shorter hunt. Or some people, would you believe sometimes, they just skip to the end to see what I've found. Mm. You cheeky little rascals. Right, I'm done. That's it. What? What a hunt. What a hunt. So yes, I'll check them. Swap out any that uh, needed. But we're going to concentrate on the plumage. The plumage of... Was it... Oh. Oops. We're going to concentrate on the plumage of the hunt, which was that one and that one. What is your favourite? Let me know in the comments which one would be your plum find. I'm tempted to say the ship because I hardly find them. I find more Olympics than I do ships. It's a lower mintage, although it's not as in nice a condition as that. And this is an Olympic as well. And I do love Olympic coins. Oh, it's a tough one. Uh, it's got a bit. I'm gonna. It's got a bit of damage there. I'm going the Olympic. That is my plum. That might be a controversial choice. Let me know what you think. If you're from the north, I reckon you'll pick that. If you're from the south, no. If you're from yeah, if you're in the north, no. If you're in the south, you'll pick that. And if you're in the north, you'll pick that because in the south, you find a lot of these, and in the north, you probably find more of these than you do them. It's quite good. That's quite enjoying that. Let me know in the comment what was your plum. It's a tough. It's a toughie. Right, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Do stay tuned. Turn on that notification bell. I am one, two, three, four, five coins from completion. Exciting times indeed. Right, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Hold the front page. I've got something else to show you. I went through all of the £2 coins off camera and found this fake. And uh, I didn't keep the last fake I found, and I should have done because there's a place on the map for it. So it's definitely fake. The queen is uh, the wrong way around. The portrait's not great. I yeah, it's not great overall. Hologram doesn't hologram, but it's not uh, it's not too bad. It has an edge inscription as well. So it's not too bad. So that will go into the fake section. And also I've got a, a foreign coins and oddity section. Uh, so this is going to go into the oddities. We've got a double die error. Uh, best way to zoom in, probably just bring it up to you there. So if you see the E and the L and the I and the Z, it looks like it's been double stamped. It's like a funny font on it, look. See that E and then there's like a shadow behind it. The L, the little kick of the L's got a little shadow behind it. If you check out the IRB, you'll find this is I-I-R-R-B-B. So it looks like it's been double stamped. I'll just compare it to this one. I mean, it hasn't been double stamped. It's actually an error in the, in the die. So the hunk of metal that they carve out to, uh, to stamp the metal to make the coin was actually, when it was engraved, it was engraved twice. So the hub itself, or is it the hub that makes the dies? But anyway, it was a, the bit that they carve out before they stamp the coin was was double double engraved. So if you can see the IRB there on the right is nice and clear and it's doubled up on the left. And then if you check out the E and the L and the I and the Z, you'll see the difference. So the one on the bottom, quite clear, single font, E, L, I, Z, and A. And the one behind it has got a shadow. In fact, all the way, all the way around Elizabeth, look, it's there. Not so much on the D, the E, and the I. It usually comes back around the F, I, D, and the D, E, F. And there it is, look. 
the D of FID and the DEF is uh, double stamped as uh, or looks double stamped as well. So I've been selling these that I didn't I've probably come across ever mm, eight, six, six or eight of these. Um, in all the years I've been looking through two pound coins and I kept them and uh, and then I, I got rid of them I sold them so I gave about 20 pound each for it this isn't in great condition so I might struggle to get 20 quid for it but it's going to stay on the mat anyway until we complete because I am just looking forward to filling this mat at some point so that will go in the oddities and foreign coin section and the fake is in the fake section I've got me uh, territories in there as well so yeah we're getting there Oh, remembered as well, this is a double episode, isn't it? So if you haven't seen the upload, if you're watching this on the Sunday, it uploads. I uploaded an hour before a little little mini £2 hunt as well. So if you haven't seen it, do go back and watch it. Right, I'm away.